Hello, I hope you are doing great. Today, we are going to talk about how you can use multiple layouts in Blazor. Now, before we continue, please remember to visit fairplay2.ddicostarica.com, click the Buy Me a Coffee icon, and select a donation of your preference. This will allow us to keep the videos and products free for you. You can also acquire a membership and that will give you access to exclusive posts and source code available only for members in Buy Me a Coffee. Okay, for supporters in Buy Me a Coffee, I mean. Okay, so let's start. So here I have a small demo application and, I'm, and I am going to run it. It's just a small demo. It has uh, really no usability at the moment. And this is just to show you how you can use multiple layouts in a Blazor application. So let's say, for example, that in your system, you need to have different layouts depending on the user role, right? Or on the area of the application you are in, right? So let's say that in some pages you may want to have the menu, the menu items on top in some other uh, areas, I mean, or in some other places you want to have the uh, menu items on the left, right, or on the bottom, on the right, right? Uh, that, that is just one case, right? Or let's say that in the other case, you want to have a different, totally different colors, right? Uh, depending on the page you are and that kind of things, right? And let's suppose that multiple pages on the same areas or there are multiple pages that will have similar layouts, right? Depending on the, on the parent route, right? On the area where you are located, right? Or in some other uh, parameter depending on your application behavior, right? So in this case, I have here the basic layout. This is the main, uh, this is a Blazor WebAssembly application and I modify the menu items. So it has two links, one to the admin index and one to the admin details page. Now you will see that when I click on this icon, the layout will actually change completely, right? And I have in here the items on top, right? And if I click home, it takes me back to the original uh, layout. If I click the other one, actually I left the same, uh, the same route, which is wrong. That one should be named uh, details. Okay. So let me run it again and let's just, um, let's see how it works. Okay. Now it goes to details, right? And you see that in details, it actually keeps the main one and we'll see why. So first we need to understand how the layout in place or works. So if you have been following the videos in Fairplay Tube or in my YouTube channel, you will know that when you have a Blazor WebAssembly application or a Blazor application, uh, you will usually map a component, which is the router, which is the component where you have your router defined. You will map it to an element, right? So in here we are saying that our router is this one, is app.razor, right, it's this one. And this one uses a default layout when the route is, when the route is found, right, we will render the route and we will use this default layout. This default layout is the default HTML configuration to render the, um, to render the page in that predefined layout, right? So you see that in that case, in the default template, you have a page a sidebar. The sidebar has the navigation menu, which is a, um, 
another component and we have the main section the main section has a row at the top and we have an article which is the content and where we are going to render the body of the page right so that means that any page you are going to navigate to will by default use the main layout right but you can change it and you should in some cases depending in your application behavior so for example here i have the admin folder inside the pages folder right and one thing i did create was an admin layout dot razor component and you see that this inherits from layout component base as you can see my layout also inherits from layout component base so if you want to create a layout or if you want a component to be a layout you need to inherit from layout component base so this effectively make this component a layout right and I can start configuring it so basically what I did in here is I added the page I added the top row and this is the column this column has a list with uh, a horizontal list right and then we I start adding the items in there and that's why you saw it saw them in the top and at the bottom of this I have a main I have a row I have a column and inside that column I am printing the body of the page right now how is that main layout how is that admin layout used so I have this index dot razor and you see that in here I have add layout and I specify the type of the layout layout I want to use so it will effectively load this admin index page with this layout and that's the reason why when I navigate to the admin index I see the menu items in the details dot razor I didn't add the layout um, attribute in there and that's why I am not seeing the menu items or anything from the admin layout when I navigate to the admin details if I want to see it in there I will just go that there type that run the application and now when I navigate to admin details I will see that layout so you can see I am on details I see the layout I am here I see the layout okay now this is kind of the default way to do it but it's not wrong however you know that the more you need to type the more chances or the more prone you are to errors or to miss things see I remove all of the um, layout for, from these ones right the other way to do that is actually using something that you may have already seen and it's using imports.razor inside the folder where you are uh, inside the folder where you have your pages so let's see Okay, um, give me a second. Admin layout, I'll put it in share. And now we can see. Now, the reason I put it in share is because this works global, right? And it was probably going to give me an error because it was also going to force the admin layout razor to import admin layout right and that will do 
that will create like a circular or infinite loop in there, right? So as you can see, you add the un underscore imports dot racer, and this is usually used to import the namespaces that you want to be global and avoid having to add them at the top of your components or pages. However, you can also use it inside a folder to do a global import or configuration on that folder. So as you can see in the admin folder, if I add the dash underscore imports dot racer, all of the pages that I have in here are going to automatically import everything that is on the underscore imports racer file. So that's the other way in which you can add a layout uh, or another layout in your in for all of the pages in your folder, right? You can do it uh, file per file, right? Using the add layout and the name or the type of the layout you want that page to use, or you can use the underscore imports file to do the add layout globally for all of the files which are located inside that folder. Hopefully this has been useful for you. Thank you very much. And please remember, visit fairplaytube.ptiacostarica.com, click the buy me a coffee icon, select a donation of your preference, and this will help us keep the videos and products free for you. Now you can also create an account on Fairplay2 and you basically go in here, you click the uh, start login, right? It will ask you for your credentials and you can there also create an account. There is a link at the bottom. And when videos are uploaded, you will get a notification uh, if you have an account created. Thank you very much and have a great day.